Yo guys and welcome to another feature video. I'm still out here in Florida. I think I'm somewhere in Tampa right now and I'm out here with uh, Lester's EK Civic. Now you can see over here it might look a little bit different to some of the other American cars that you see because uh, it's, uh, it's right hand drive but we'll get into that in a minute. Um, I wanted to really give you a rundown of the car, show you how, how beautifully built this car is. Um, and it's just another beautiful car I get to show you while I'm out here on holiday. So let's get into it. So I've spoke to Lester a little bit about the car. Um, if you want to see more of this in detail, check out his Instagram that I'll put just uh, there on the screen right now. And yeah, so we've got, uh, it's actually a left hand drive car from factory that he has converted. It took him one year to do the conversion. Um, he took took his time with it because what they do is they take out uh, the, the original tack welds on the firewall of the car and then put new ones in with a right hand drive uh, firewall so they have all the right fittings and stuff. He's got the EK9 dashboard in there, DC2 steering wheel. Um, yeah, and I thought it was an EK9 when I turned up. I actually said, is it, is it a Type R? And he said, uh, no, no, unfortunately it's not. So, um, yeah, it's loaded on the Blackwoods Racing Coilover kits and it's got my favorite wheels, uh, the Rega Master Evos on there. Also held on with some Blackworks Racing lug nuts. We've got a uh, first molding style front lip in Kevlar that his friend actually made him, which I think is kind of cool that his friend actually made him the lip. Uh, I'm not sure what mirrors these are actually. So up here we've got the craft square mirrors and I, I love that shape. Absolutely love it with the bright style seats inside and it just looks, it looks when it's rolling along looks so good. You've got the top one motors, side skirts on it too. See representing Kev on the back here. Yo, and the hatchback, pretty sick. That's a, sick. it just looks fantastic. You've got Ap Apexi. Uh, exhaust system on it, and like I said, it's got the, the EK9 inside the EK9 dials and stuff up in here. So this all looks like a legit Type R. It looks sick. It's a great, uh, great conversion that's been done. And uh, yeah, do you mind if I pop the hood? Oh, I should also just give a shout out. He's part of the Mezarashi mob, and they looked after me while I was over in New Jersey once. They really looked out for me, so I will always appreciate that. Got a lot of love for the Mezarashi mob. It is so hot and so bright today. This is so difficult trying to get this right because can you see the shadow? So annoying. So uh, behind me now, I've just got him to pop the pop the hood, and uh, you can see the JDM B18C motor that's uh, nested in the bay with the I don't know, is it like a metallic brown? Like I can't work out what colour that is that the bay's been painted, but it's beautiful in uh, real life. Got the Kevlar intake with the Skunk 2 in that manifold. So he's also got the uh, PLM header down here, held in with the Downstar spikes, available at 621.com. Got the Downstar spikes with the Kevlar, oh my goodness, with the Kevlar um, cover <laughs> with the Downstar all over too, with the uh, black Hasbrook mounts holding the engine in. It looks fantastic. All right. And then he runs a GSR gearbox as well from Integra out here. Um, it looks fantastic. I, I really do like it. The job they've done as well with the swap. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you really can't really tell. It looks fantastic. So yeah, that looks bang on. I just uh, just got told earlier that he's also owned this car for about 11 years now. So that's some dedication to a project right there. But I suppose once you've put that sort of money in and that sort of effort and time as well, it's hard to break away from it. But I want to grab the DJI out now and get some more detailed shots on that. Hopefully you guys will love it and we'll catch you again in a minute.
Make sure you go follow him on Instagram. Once again, I'm gonna pop that up on the screen. Hope you like it, guys. And yeah, oh God, it's just so diff difficult doing this in this heat. I miss the English weather. I'm joking, I really don't. But yeah, look, it looks fucking awesome. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Please remember, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you do like the car, please share the video. Get your, get your friends to come and watch it, and uh, hopefully with the channel growing, it means more and more cars will come onto the channel that you will love to see. Thank you very much again, guys. Peace. I did that bad, didn't I?